How do you assess uh, the second half? What happened? Uh, terrible defense. Give the Bulls a lot of credit. They put us on our heels. We were uh, atrocious defensively, and they took advantage. They had a great shooting night. They moved the ball great. We didn't give one lick about defense, and that's a problem for us right now. I know you, I'm sure you talked about Jay before the game, and this is the second straight game where he's come back in and Zach hasn't played in that final stretch. Um, is there, what's your reasoning for that? And uh, and what have you seen from Jay that you, you've liked? Yeah, I mean, I've really liked what Jay's done in those moments there in the fourth quarter. I uh, was rolling with what I've seen the first couple of games, just the floor spacing and ball movement, quick decisions, playing on the perimeter. So, um, you know, Zach's getting better and, you know, um, he's going to get those opportunities for sure. But they were playing small. They were playing fast out there. Just wanted to have some different lineups. And, um, you know, we didn't come up defensively with anybody that was out there late in the game, and especially in the third quarter. Taylor, you talked about the principles having to show up on the defensive end, too. Is that one of the cases tonight where it just, for whatever reason, in that second half, the consistency just wasn't there? Yeah, no, it's non existent. Our third quarters have been terrible to start the season, so we got to clean this up and respond. Rather, this happen now than during the middle of the season. We know what we stand for defensively. We got to get better. So, Coach, uh, watching you at halftime, it looked like you were in Santa's ear a little bit. Uh, was that good, bad? Can you tell us anything about that conversation? Was that firing him up or corrections? And then looking at the uh, the rebounding in the second half, you got more rebounds. They got the ones that mattered. Yeah, I mean, um, we got to get better with the rebounding. I mean, especially late, they get that one um, after we got a big stop. You know, we had an opportunity thing down three, and you know, we ended up having a foul and becomes a free throw game, and it was too late by then. Um, and then just challenging Santi, you know, defensively, and um, you know that was it. Challenge the group at halftime. Just with these third quarter runs being given up, is it? One of those things where it's an adjustment to the pace that you're trying to play at, where maybe the legs aren't as fresh, or do you think it's more of like mental lapses, mentality kind of stuff? Um, I'm, I got to go back and study a little bit more and, and dive into a conversation with the guys of why we're not getting what we need in the third quarter. Our defense is terrible, so we can't run. And that's what they said in the locker room. So if we're going to play like we did in the first half, then we got to get stops. We were getting stops in the first half, held them to 54 points, and they scored 72 in the second half. So um, we can't run if we're not getting stops. And when we're trying to still score 123 points, 37 assists, we can find a way. Um, but it gets really tough when you're just getting them wide open shots because they're just penetrating, being us one on one and no help rotations. Taylor in the back. I know it's four games. What do you make of Marcus's offensive struggles so far? Yeah, I mean, he's got to just continue to find his groove. Um, I love his playmaking. I mean, seven assists. He's getting downhill, just getting wide open looks that aren't falling. Um, you know, it, hopefully it's just a stretch that he can just get over, you know, pretty quickly. I think he's getting great looks. He's putting in the work. Um, you know, I'm liking the defense and, you know, his playmaking, but, you know, it's a rough one right now. I think Jaron, looking at the box score, Jaron and Marcus were team highs and plus minuses, but they finished, I think, four guys played more than them. Was that kind of the plan going in the game? Probably more with Jaron, but with Marcus, was that the case too? Yeah, I mean, we're trying to, you know, build them back up, um, you know, with the pace that we're playing at, give them short spurts. And credit to Scotty and Jake, I thought they played really well. So they, they got opportunities. There were a couple times where we couldn't get a stoppage to get guys back in. But um, part of this is how we're mapping up to build back, you know, Jaron after a couple of weeks off and get Marcus in, into game, game, uh, game reps. Great. Thanks, everyone.